everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Amelia and I post new life and style videos every Wednesday at 4 p.m. So, we have mail today. And what is in this mailbox? Yes, underwear. These are period underwear. So, if you do not have a period, do not plan on getting a period, are squeamish when it comes to blood, I would click off this video. Otherwise, you can keep on watching because I'm going to be reviewing the proof period underwear. I'd say maybe a year, year and a half ago, honestly, between 2019 and 2020, I feel like things have kind of been a blur. Um, I started seeing ads for period underwear where you could just like freely bleed <laughs> into your underwear and it would get absorbed. You could wear it all day and then just like rinse it out at night and you would be good to go. And I was definitely intrigued because it's new technology, but I was definitely hesitant just because like, does it really work? How does it work? Is it gonna feel like I'm wearing a diaper all day? That sort of thing. So, very recently, like last week, realized that it was the end of like my health insurance year. So I needed to use up all my FSA dollars or flexible spending account dollars. So I logged on to fsastore.com or something and saw that they had these. And I was like, you know what, for $30, let me try it out. It's not that expensive. Um, let's just see what's going on. I'm at home, so if it like doesn't work, it doesn't really matter because it's not like I'm gonna be caught out in public. So, caught the underwear, and then basically three days later got my period, so it was like perfect timing. I wore them for a full eight hours, like a full work day, which I will insert here now so first check-in of my period vlog i guess we're gonna call this so i've had the underwear on for around probably two hours now um everything feels fine i'm not like concerned with like leaking or anything um they're actually oddly comfortable considering i don't wear like bikini style underwear like ever um i really just wear thongs but they're pretty comfortable they don't dig in the like crotch portion where you would normally put a pad is obviously like thicker um it'll be interesting to see how the rest of the day plays out since this is the second day of my period and it is probably the heaviest day. It says it can take like four tampons, which is probably what I normally use this day regularly. So I guess I will check in in a few more hours. Okay, so it's been another two hours since my first check-in, so it is noon right now i'm still not bleeding through which is just like i don't know it's just weird to me i guess it's literally the same as wearing a pad it's just i guess that the fact that it's like just your underwear and you're just like bleeding into your underwear um also because they're black like i don't see anything like you can see I, like how gross is gross i don't know you can see like a darker black of like where it's absorbing. Is YouTube gonna like flag this video? Can they flag a video for someone who has like less than 100 subscribers? I don't know. Okay, so it is 4.30. I've officially been wearing this underwear for eight hours now. At this point during the second day of my period, I probably would have changed my tampon three times so we're just about where they say like the maximum support is and i mean there's like 
I mean, there's nothing. I don't have any like staining, no bleed through even on like the inside of my pants. This is the final check-in and now we are just going to go to my overall review. Now I wanted to read what it says the underwear does, what they're made of, all that stuff. It comes with this card, which is the name of the company, proof. It says hand rinse after wearing cold water, which I did. Then you can wash it in a cold wash on gentle cycle with detergents formulated for delicates, lay flat or hang to dry. Then use fabric softener or bleach and do not put in the dryer. Even though when I first got them, I did wash them when I put them in the dryer. Oops. I got the hipster with mesh. I was going to get the thong, but then I was like, you know, these might be more helpful for sleep than just for everyday wear. So I got them and I thought they were just like, I just thought the mesh was a little cuter, even though like, I don't really feel that sexy on my period. So I, I don't know, but you know, it was cute. They have hipsters, they have boy shorts, they have thongs, they have bikinis, um, they have cheeky. Basically any cut of regular underwear that you could think of, they have, but each one is like a different level of absorbency basically. Mine says it holds four regular tampons or eight teaspoons. So that's classified as heavy. Now, I never know, even like with pads and tampons, they say like this many teaspoons and it's just like, who, how would you know that? But anyway, it has a size chart, all that stuff. It says it's beautiful and comfy as it is functional, super absorbent with slim and slim with moderate coverage. These undies provide discreet leak protection with a regular undie feel. Our hipsters infused with breathable mesh accents and created with our multi-layer leak lock, which is trademarked. So the inside, like, you know, the crotch area where you would like put a pad, you can feel that it's different. Like you feel that it's thicker. You can even see, why did I just go like a visco girl? You can see that it has like this extra seam and it's just a bit more like layered up there. So it says it's great for substantial bladder leaks, which I didn't even put this together, but I guess if you have bladder leaking problems, you could wear this. Sweat, heavy period leaks, to replace a pad, to replace your back of a tampon or a cup, and for odor reduction. But we just want to know if they work. First, I have not worn like quote unquote regular underwear during the day since maybe like 10th grade. I don't like the feeling of having like a seam on my bum. So I was one a little hesitant because I was like, oh, if I'm not going to be thinking about like this really thick pad in the center of this, then I'm definitely going to be thinking about how it's just like digging into all the parts of my body. And it wasn't. Even though I notorious get very bloated around and during my period, this did not dig in at all. And that's kind of surprising because it is high waisted, but it's a very soft waistband and it's even like soft inside. So there was no problem with that. And the center was not as thick as I thought it was going to be. You can obviously, as I just showed, like you can tell it's thicker, but it's not like you're wearing one of those like super absorbent maxi pads. It kind of just feels like you're wearing maybe an ultra thin one, but because there's not that extra like pad and you don't have to like worry about wings or it like folding up and like sticking to the front of everything and then you gotta like peel it and quickly you know wax yourself i did not bleed through all day the only time i came close was i sat too far forward in my chair and i just moved so i got like some blood like right here but it didn't go through it was a close call though i didn't even feel like i was going to you can't you, i mean you don't have a sense of how much is absorbing or how much you've really bled throughout the day. I still could tell it was a heavy day, obviously, cause you know, when you pee, you can like see all that stuff. And I did have some blood clots in the morning that was definitely more of the grosser parts because you have to like, I mean, I guess you don't have to, but I did. I just wiped it away with toilet paper because I didn't want to like be sitting in that. 
and then washing them was another thing so i definitely say like if you're squeamish or like not into blood or like not about it i don't think these are for you because you have to wash them out before you put them in the washer you need to just like rinse them with cold water and really wring out to make sure everything's out i thought it was gonna be a lot more gross than it was but it was kind of just like washing regular underwear that you might bleed onto so it was like no big deal but honestly for 35 dollars to have a reusable option because let's be real tampons and pads are stupid expensive like to have this reusable option i think is great obviously to use this every single day you would need to buy multiple pairs but personally i get a little like i don't know i get kind of like sick of like wearing tampons sometimes kind of like towards the end of the week you're just like i am over putting this thing up there it's like and then you just start thinking about it and kind of towards the end like i really like i prefer to wear a pad because it's like more comfortable than also it's like that weird like oh my god i can like feel this just like extra plasticky fabricy thing that i'm sitting on and it does kind of feel like you're sitting on a diaper so to like be able to take those two options out and not have a tampon but to like be able to like wear a pad but it not feel like a pad and especially at night to know like it's gonna stay in place it's not gonna shift i'm not gonna have to like check at 2 a.m to make sure it's not like a bloody mess unintended i am totally for these now can i i had a good period day there was no all of a sudden like feeling that feeling of like oh my god it's like totally going everywhere i need to change my tampon like but i'm like somewhere where i can't or it's too late like to just have that peace of mind now that I know that it works is amazing. Because I think like the <laughs> one of the hardest parts of having your period is like to constantly having to like be on guard. Like, will I be near a bathroom? How many hours has it been? Is it too long? Do I have the right tampon? Oh, you think it's gone? Oh, it's not gone? Like it's a mind game on top of cravings and bloating and irritability. So to just take like one less thing and to just be like, here's my underwear, I can go about my day is honestly really nice. I might even buy one of the thongs for like my lighter days. I have zero complaints. I think maybe because I was so like, how can this work? And if it does, it must feel like it's wearing a diaper sort of thing. And to see that it does work and it doesn't feel like that is amazing. They're great. How many times can I say it? I don't know. I'm going to end this video because I'm just gonna keep saying that I'm really impressed. I really like these. If you are thinking about buying them and you aren't squeamish because, you know, there's definitely a cleanup process that you gotta have to get a little dirty for, you're good to go. And plus it's reusable, so you're saving paper products, you're saving money in the long run. I love the Peru underwear. I do. I love them. Thank you for coming along on this very intimate journey with me. With that said, as a reminder, I have links to register to vote. Make sure you register early if you're in the United States. If you're watching outside the United States, obviously this little segment does not apply to you. Also, if you are out and about, be sure to wear your mask. Still be safe and wash your hands. But most importantly, I hope you all have a wonderful day and thank you for watching. Okay.